Hey guys, Eric with Ferris Engineering here. Today I'll be going over um, a little bit about like scanning, like a scanning 101 slash frequently asked questions slash misconceptions as uh, we see a lot of information out there that, that isn't exactly true. And we want to educate people on, on what scan, scanning can do for us um, since it is somewhat a, a fairly new um, technology in, in engineering world. With the advent of scanning, it, it basically allows us as engineers to reverse engineer or design components significantly quicker than um, in years past where we would have to manually measure parts uh, with calipers or even tape measures. And uh, it definitely helps quite a bit. However, that does not mean that um, designing parts from scan data is exactly easy. Um, it just means it's more accurate and, and it is quicker, but it still is a very time consuming process, which you'll hear about shortly. So basically we're going to give you a behind the doors look at what we do with scan data and how we use it at Veris Engineering. So maybe you're asking, what is scan data? Scan data is a way for us to take what's in the real world, a car perhaps, and bring it into the computer world, which is CAD. Um, Basically, it does this by taking multiple images, at least our scan data does, multiple images with a white light scanner, such as the Artec that you see here to my left, um, and it creates a point cloud in uh, the CAD world. And, and a point cloud is exactly what it sounds like, a cloud of points. It's just a minuscule point that then we can use to interpret, interpret the data in the space. From this point cloud, geometry uh, software can then facet it, which is basically connecting the dots with triangular surfaces, which we call faceted geometry. This surface data is not smooth. It is a very good representation of, say, a part like this, but it is not smooth. And this component has very specific parametric equations that generate the shapes within it and the scan data does not have any parametric equation to the components. So now I'm gonna read off some questions and misconceptions that we've heard over time and hopefully you learn a little bit about scan data. Once you scan an object, isn't it just a part in CAD? It is not. Scan data is infinitely thin surface faceted geometry. You cannot use that to create a part or to machine to or create a carbon unit, you need to create 3D CAD from the scan file, which is a time consuming component. So when you scan a part, you can't just print it or machine directly to it. Again, no, you cannot. In certain applications, you can possibly 3D print directly from a scan, but that scan has to be a completely filled model. Initially, a scan file is an infinitely thin surface, not a solidified model. Isn't there software that can do this for you? Well, yes there is, but it's some of the most expensive software out there. And there's good reason for it. It saves you a ton of time. However, we don't have the budget to spend twenty-five to $50,000 a year on software. And even that software doesn't automatically create a solidified model like that. You still have to have user input to basically tell the computer, this is a circle, this is a hole, this is a round, this is a straight line. It does not automatically just create a solidified model from a scan. If it does, it's a very simple part, but most parts that you're scanning aren't gonna be simple. So what is the point of using scan data if you can't really use it? Without scan data, some designs would actually be almost impossible to produce. Say something like one of our rear diffusers. You're talking about a very large area that would be very difficult to measure accurately. Um, basically, we'd have to use a tape measure for most of it and, it, and it would take a very long time to design a rear diffuser without scan data. Scan data also gathers a lot of information very quickly. To hand measure every single internal component of this would take a lot of time. It took us about half an hour to scan it. That is substantially less than it would take us to hand measure all these locations and try to design a part from just hand measurements. With scan data, that's all you should need, right? The parts 
designed from it will be accurate. In a perfect world, yes. However, scan data is not perfect. When you scan something, holes don't come through all the time. Uh, edges are very grainy. This is just, this is what happens when you scan a part. And there are different scanners that measure, that can measure and uh, scan smaller components better. But even then, we have seen where holes do not come through cleanly. And uh, we'll post up a photo in the video, uh, again, illustrating this. So those are some of the questions that we've seen and heard, and hopefully some of those answer some of your questions. And if you have more, please uh, comment in the section below or Facebook, Instagram, and, and we'll be happy to answer those. But uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions. So moving further, I wanted to talk about where scanning basically falls short or where it doesn't exceed as well as, as possible. Um, with components with deep recesses and holes specifically, those features don't come through in scan data very well. They, ultimately, the scanner can't see the bottom of that hole. It can see maybe an eighth of an inch down, but that's about it. So mm -hmm. we're basically estimating where that hole is in the scan data. And we can estimate it very accurately, but the likelihood of being 100% perfect is very minimal, at least with the scanner that we use currently. Now you could use a, um, a CMM, and, and that would be 100% accurate, but we don't have a So that does not work for us. How long does it take to scan a part generally? That really depends on the object and the scanner being used. Something like this will take about half an hour. Something like scanning an entire car can take six to eight to two days to fully scan. Uh, just scanning is the easy part of the solution, uh, in my opinion. Solidifying and creating the actual CAD from that scan data is the hard part. Keep in mind that when we are doing scan data, that basically we fuse these scans together and that ultimately only creates an infinitely thin surface geometry. It does not actually solidify. So that is really where a lot of the time and uh, resources are spent with scan data, for us at least. Uh, a car is a very time consuming project. Uh, you're talking about a week for one of us to um, create a sol solid body from a uh, scan. So I have, had, I have said infinitely thin surface multiple times. What is an infinitely thin surface? The surface from the scan data has no thickness. And I understand that may be a hard concept to understand initially because I'm saying surface and a surface should have a thickness, but in CAD world, it does not. It's infinitely thin. You cannot create anything from it other than utilize it as, as a surface. So at times, this surface can be easy to work with and sometimes it can be hard to work with. Basically, uh, a surface can be thickened, at least that's the goal, and that's when it becomes something that we can actually use in CAD world or to manufacture a part. So basically our dive planes are uh, surfaces that are then thickened to 1, 1.5, 1 to 1.5 millimeter. Um, the, the rear wing on the, the 984, or 981 and 987, both were surfaces initially that were then thickened. Most times, the scan surface is impossible to work with because it creates impossible geometry, which is intersecting geometry and, and that type of thing. And ultimately, this is because scan data is faceted geometry. It is not a smooth surface, so then we have to create a surface from that scan data surface, which is smooth, and then it will not intersect itself as it thickens, and, and fingers crossed, it actually will thicken. Sometimes you fight a surface for, for hours or days. While scanning and scan data is a great tool for us to use and has sped up a lot of our processes, it isn't exactly perfect, and it, and it does take a ton of time, at times, to use it. Uh, I hope you learned a few things about scanning, and uh, join in next time. Thanks. Bye.